Hello everyone. Today, we are exploring the world of a medication called raloxifene, which is also commonly known by its brand name, Evista. As with our previous discussions, this is intended for educational purposes. For any health-related questions or concerns, it's imperative to consult with a medical professional. Description Raloxifene, often recognized by its brand name Evista, is a selective estrogen receptor modulator, SCRM. It is used primarily to treat or prevent osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. Additionally, raloxifene is also prescribed to reduce the risk of invasive breast cancer in postmenopausal women with osteoporosis and in postmenopausal women at high risk for invasive breast cancer. The medication works by mimicking the effects of estrogen, a natural and necessary hormone in the female body, to help maintain bone density and prevent bone breakdown. Warnings Raloxifene may increase the risk of developing blood clots, such as in the deep veins of the legs, deep vein thrombosis, or the lungs, pulmonary embolism. Therefore, women with a history of such conditions or those who are at risk should be cautious. Also, those who are immobile for a long time, such as during long trips or recovering from surgery, might be at a higher risk. Before taking this medicine. Several factors need to be considered before starting raloxifene. It's important to inform your healthcare provider if you have ever had a blood clot in your legs, lungs, or eyes, liver disease, or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Raloxifene should not be used before menopause and is not for use in men or children. If you smoke or have coronary artery disease, ensure your doctor is informed, as these may increase your risk of developing certain side effects. You should not use raloxifene if you are pregnant, as it may harm the unborn baby. Do not take raloxifene if you are breastfeeding have ever had a blood clot, or are unable to move around for extended periods. Before starting on the medication, it's essential to inform your healthcare provider about all your medical conditions and if you are scheduled for a major surgery. Side Effects Like all medications, raloxifene can have side effects. Some individuals may experience hot flashes, increased sweating, joint pain, or swelling. Leg cramps and swelling in the hands, feet, or lower legs can also occur. More serious side effects include sudden chest pain, difficulty or pain when swallowing, severe headache, eye pain, or vision changes. If you experience any of these symptoms or any unusual reactions, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. Additionally, one should be aware of symptoms of a blood clot, such as pain, swelling, warmth, or redness in one or both legs, sudden shortness of breath, rapid breathing, or coughing up blood. If any of these occur, immediate medical attention is required. Interactions Raloxifene might interact with other medications or supplements. Always inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you are currently taking to ensure there aren't any adverse interactions. Dosage Correct dosage ensures the effectiveness of any medication. The recommended dose for raloxifene, as stated on the referenced website, is usually 160 mg tablet daily. However, it's crucial to always adhere to your doctor's recommendations when taking raloxifene. Regular monitoring and periodic checkups are necessary to ensure the drug's efficacy and safety. Never change your dosage without consulting your healthcare provider. Avoid. While on raloxifene, if you require a prolonged bed rest or will be traveling for an extended period, ensure your healthcare provider knows, as you might need to temporarily stop the medication due to the risk of blood clots. It's also advisable to avoid sitting still for long durations, and you should move around periodically during long trips. FAQ A common question regarding raloxifene is about its use in treating breast cancer. While raloxifene is used to reduce the risk of invasive breast cancer, it doesn't treat breast cancer. Always refer to a healthcare provider for specific queries related to this medication. Closing That concludes our comprehensive look at raloxifene. Keep in mind that this information is intended for educational purposes and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always reach out to a healthcare provider with questions or concerns about this or any medication. Thank you for joining us.